Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. Welcome to TST Garage. In this episode, we'll be installing swing arm spools and also bar ends on this beautiful 2016 and up Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. Spools are a simple device. These particular ones are made of aluminum and anodized black. We do have them in a number of different colors, so you can check that out at tstindustries.com. They enable you to stand up the bike on one of these old boys. And the manufacturer of the bike provided us with spool bosses, so they essentially just screw right in. I'm gonna grab a six millimeter Allen and begin to thread in the screw. Once it seats, I'm gonna set my torque wrench to 15 foot pounds and finish up that connection. I'm gonna repeat this procedure on the other side of the bike. And just like that, we are ready to throw this bad boy up on a stand. It's that easy. We do have these spools in a slider version. These are made of aluminum. The other ones are made of Delrin material. They stick out a little bit more. They provide a little bit more of a sliding surface down here in case you do go down. So consider that before you make your choice. Um, that's pretty much it for this part. On the bar end front, we're first going to have to remove the OEM bar ends. They are two piece construction. Once again, I'm gonna grab my six millimeter Allen remove the center screw from this connection. This one is sort of tough to turn because it has a bunch of thread lock caked on the threads. So this component comes out. We are left with this component that will require a 17 millimeter socket. Now the Womit Tech units that we sell at TST Industries are two-piece construction also. They have an aluminum base that is anodized and gets fitted in first. We do have these in a number of different colors. We just picked black because it goes along with the color scheme we're going for on this bike. It's very stealthy. So we just went with black. Silver also looked good, but this is what we chose. Seat this, grab a 22 millimeter socket, and then we tighten down. You can actually use a thread locking agent on these threads if you so choose. This is aluminum threads going into aluminum. So they do, they do have a good amount of friction just by tightening them down. But again, choice is yours. Our Delrin component, goes over the top of the nut portion. And uh, being that it's Delrin, it'll give you a little bit crash, a little bit of crash protection here. It's a consumable part. If you do go down, you do crash the bike, this will deflect and grind off before it propagates forces through the bar. If the crash is hard enough, you will end up damaging your controls anyway, but this just gives you a little bit of give before you get to that point where things start breaking. Using a five millimeter Allen, I will turn in that center screw and then tighten it down against the Delrin. You don't want to over tighten it. You will end up deforming the Delrin. So just turn it in until you feel a good amount of preload. The preload will come from the flexibility of the Delrin and that will keep your threads engaged and prevent them from vibrating out. I'm gonna repeat the, this procedure on the other side of the bike. All right, and that is pretty much that. One thing I wanna mention before I let you guys go is make sure ch to check your throttle tube. Anytime you replace anything around this system, you wanna make sure that your throttle tube is not bound up. You don't wanna be on a runaway train or runaway rocket for that matter. We are good here. So these installations are complete. I do wanna mention that we do have other crash protection components like frame sliders and also case guards. And all of those components come together in something we call a total protection pack. So you can either purchase these separately or 
get a combined order and a total protection pack that will give you all of this protection for your machine at a discount. So we'll see you at tscindustries.com, ride safe.